head back to the doctor for sure to get a, uh, well, welcome back to Brumar Farms. How you doing? Hey, listen, it's a good morning, a little bit of rain. Of course, we've got some fog in the air. But as you can see right there, we're heading west, going to Cookville, going to the doctor this morning to get that supposedly some information on when we're scheduled for this, um, uh, what do you call it, procedure, this uh, heart valve procedures and uh, all that information so we'll know what's going on. And uh, it's a good ride, it's a good morning. Glad you came along. So we'll let you know a little bit more about what's going on here as the day progresses. But uh, have a good day. Okay, we are here. Yes. Okay, let's just go in now. I have Miss Cindy with me. office and the doctor just came in and gave us the information they've decided to go through the chest okay. and not do the tabbers. They they released Lester, little Lester stayed last night so, and he'll uh, stand there till he's discharged and we'll bring him home. We're scheduled for the 16th right. of May to do this operation so that's the news. They'll go through the chest and not the dab bars. So okay and uh, it's all good and uh, we'll uh, stay in prayer. That's okay. See you on the other side. Bye. Okay, we'll be leaving out of here. We'll be going back to the farm. We're in the waiting room now. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> There's all the girls that have helped me. And, uh, you need to go? No. Uh -uh. So, uh, there's a, the evacuation deal if we need to get out of here. You know, here we go. Okay. Okay. May 16th. Now it's real. Now it's real, amen. <laughs> yeah. But May 9th, that's... Next week. Almost six days ahead. What do you do that day? They go and draw blood and, and you know. And that, they give you that soap you got to wash yourself yeah, with and all that? Yeah, they all the instructions. Okay, so that's what, so that's pre-op is what that is. Yeah. Okay, all right. So that's good. And Cindy's driving the elevator again. <laughs> See if we can't get the right floor here. Get lost. Is it the first floor? Okay, yeah, we're, we're never going to be lost, amen. Oh. Okay, so yeah, it's real. It's happening now. Opening the chest. Yeah. That'll be good. How do you feel about that? I'm doing it. <laughs> do you? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I kind of dread it. It's all, it's all good. Keep a limp through it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah, every time we go to a doctor, or every time we go to a doctor's visit or go to a different town we go shopping somewhere and today we've chose Hobby Lobby we're gonna go in Hobby Lobby and uh, Cindy's got some kind of Memorial Day celebration patriotic thing going on what we got going on what are we making I don't know what you really call it, a little streamer-like thing that you can drape across your... Across um, your what? Body? Well, no. I'm going to use the it porch. in the travel trailer. And the travel trailer. In the yeah. Back. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Over there with the... Uh, uh, what do you call it? The yeah, rock guard? Oh, the, oh, inside. We're doing inside. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're at uh, Hobby Lobby in Cookville, Tennessee. Sun's out started out rainy. Of course, he saw as he was driving. But uh, here, let me turn you all around. There you go. We can see what's going on. Yeah. I got donut all over me. We stopped at Ralph's Donut. Hey, listen, if you're in Cookville, Tennessee, stop at Ralph's Donut. 
from Cedar Avenue. Look at the best donuts. And it's always full. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Well, this is the emptiest I've ever seen this. Of course, most Hobby Lobbies look like Hobby Lobby. They all pretty much look the same. Oh, my planter's fasciitis. What do you call it? Planter fasciitis. Planter fasciitis. Boy, I've developed that. And, uh, well, we'll just. Now we're in the bathroom section. Those are the colors? Yep. Is that heavy? No, it's just high up. Good morning. Good morning. I need a fourth of a yard of each. All right. So quick. A fourth of a yard? Everybody got fall stuff. I got <laughs> Christmas coming in too. Really? It's a good time. Are those Christmas okay. ornaments up there? Yes, yeah. sir. He is. Are you kidding me? Christmas trees in the back. Oh my goodness. Just a few, I mean, so far, but. Yeah, yeah. some people are leaving trees up all year. That's true. Now, and just decorating for it's every season. It's become a. Yeah. But, you know, as a craft store, it's, I mean, it just keeps coming earlier and earlier. I mean, people need it yeah. early, but. <laughs> well, if you really do do, do it, crafts, yeah. you know, you have to. It all blends together. Because you're trying to get ahead. Mm -hmm. Look at that. They got a groove in the table for the scissors to keep it straight. Mm -hmm. Man, that's thinking. Mm -hmm. What's Grandma removing here? Spot remover. That's good stuff. Oh, I got a dog named Spot. <laughs> Look at this right here. That's groovy. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't have John laying on him. I would smell him so much better than <gasps> every other one. Yeah, yeah. Poo. So this time it'll cost me. You're already not really paying too much. $1. fifty. Can we it say it's, can we say it's next week? Cents. We can say it's next week, right? I can say it, but I cannot. I think I paid 89 though. Yeah. Yeah, I forget that it's on sale every other <coughs> week or something. Yeah. Let's see what we have appointment on the 22nd of November. Yeah. I yeah. rescheduled for you yesterday. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. They had sent you that card. Yeah. Telling you you needed to call and reschedule. Yeah, that was like May 4th or something? No, it was the 21st. Why well, have I got May 4th on my mind? That's your reunion. Oh. We need to go to that. 50 year reunion. That was awesome. Classroom reunion. 50 years since I graduated. Thank you. Unbelievable. All right. Have a good day. Have a blessed day. Yes, ma'am. Look at all the frogs, Tracy. They all got them in a basket. Yeah. He's a cutie. He'd sit in the garden. Look at him. Yeah, he's a cutie. I don't know what the price on him is. Fifteen ninety nine. They're forty percent off though. It's look good in the garden. <laughs> now then. Can we get him for the garden? Nah. Do we need him for the garden? No, uh uh. We don't need any of that. No, we don't. Uh, out there in the flower bed. Okay, this is us leaving Hobby Lobby.
Yes, we're leaving out of here. Had a good time, good visit. And the sun's still shining and groovy. That'd literally be the car right there. What kind of car is that? I've never seen one like that before. It's got big headlights. It's a spark. Oh, it's a Chevrolet. It must be an electric car. Or a hybrid of some kind. It's called a spark. It's a hybrid. Well, no, I don't know. Huh, never seen a car like that. Huh. Anyway, okay, let's move on. Got my plantar fasciitis still messing with me. Okay. This woman has brought me to another place. It's called Academy. It's a sports and outdoors but I don't do sports so I know she's looking for something outdoor for camping she's bound for Millington with the trailer she's got that on her mind how you doing wonderful if I was any better I'd be you without the I mud say that too much. where you been with the mud Job site down the road. Well, I, they said it was supposed to be clean. That's what every builder says. <laughs> it's clean, but we're building on red clay. Yeah, take advantage of your energy, man. Do it, man. Yes, sir. Be safe. Thank you. Yes, sir. God bless you. Okay. Academy Sports Outdoor. We're going to do something outdoor here. You going to buy me a kayak? We don't do boats. I don't do boats. It's not that I'm afraid. But uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, we're inside. <laughs> tennis shoes? Smells like tennis shoes. Oh, Bobby. Okay, outdoor. This way. Mom's Day? Oh, we got Mom's Day specials. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Magellan. Okay, grills. Where's the camp stoves? No camp stoves, huh? Yeah. Um, but I mean, no. Uh, no um, accessories. Yeah, no Coleman. Well, we can figure out. Uh, We're needing a floor associate. Is there a floor associate neighbor? Let's uh, turn it up right here. Come in. You yeah. thought they might have been them. These now, these aren't them. Yeah, you'll have to cut some sweatpants off and hem them up. Hem them up yeah. No. People don't stretch no more. They want to stay the same. But that vanity's still here, though. Amen.
Where's our floor associate here? Do we have a floor associate neighbor? You got packed calves, dude. Oh, that's a mannequin. That's close. Academy, Magellan Outdoors. Mm -hmm. It's packed full of stuff. They'll gig me for the music that's playing in the background. Probably not. These are close to that, huh? No, they're not. Well, it's kind of sweatpantsy feeling. Yeah. My gosh, Mark, that's like pants. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, yeah, no. I'm just pointing out. They are. But well, Granny ain't gonna wear that. I know that. I don't want to see, I don't want to see Granny in her panties. No. <clears throat> How come there's not a floor associate here? You have to pay him. Oh. My God. There's a floor associate. She's got radios and stuff on her. Sweatpants shorts for women? Do they still make anything like that? I have not seen us carry any of those. Most of ours is just the slick material. Yeah. I know. And uh, they got them in for kids a little bit, but not. My mother, she like, she's 87. So she don't want the slick, you know. She'd just like to have some old sweatpants shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, honey. She's out of date. Like no, they, like, they just like certain things. I know. So they don't have them? No. There's nothing wrong with calling on a floor associate. No, there's not. what they're here for. Nothing to be embarrassed about. <clears throat> That's cute. Go on these ones. There you go. <laughs> Looking forward to getting them on there. Isn't that groovy? What's the cost on that? I don't see a cost, do we? Six ninety nine, seven hundred dollars for an electric bike. Hmm. That's pretty groovy though. There's a Go Trax. It looks like a Schwinn. It's $9.99. So, here's a Schwinn electric bike. That's what I'd like to have. That'd be cool. That guy, uh, that uh, Matthew from uh, Arizona, he rode his electric bike from the farm into town to get a hydraulic hose. That was pretty cool. Huh. Okay. That's probably a better charge than a car. All 
I'll get back with you here. Oh, I know. <laughs> I guess this is us leaving. We didn't, they didn't have that uh, converter is what we look for. It's a converter to change from liquid fuel to propane in an old Coleman stove. Yeah, you know the old green ones? We got one of those and we got an estate auction. It was brand new. It wasn't even out of the box. And uh, we've used it a couple of times. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, we're leaving. Hey. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Traveling back up on the plateau. Then left out of Cookville. We've discussed uh, about the procedure that they decide to do. And like anything, a little anxious, a little apprehensive. You know, it's like getting ready. If the time is here, it's time for this. Discussed going to the uh, 50, we are 50 uh, year uh, class reunion that uh, my 1974 class. We've discussed that. Uh, we believe that uh, we can do that, get back in time. And so that's, uh, of course, we're a little kind of somber, quiet about it. You know, it's a major thing, uh, getting a heart valve. Of course, it's done every day. It's an everyday procedure now. It's not like it was 20, 25 years ago. Either. We're figuring it out. Learning they can do it. They're doing it. And so. We're just driving back. ago it wasn't green. Springtime has come upon us quickly. As we're leaving the house we look down and see the what's the water measuring thing called again? Rain gauge. The rain gauge. At just a tiny bit below two inches. And that was from midnight to we left out at seven o'clock. From midnight to seven, it rained two inches. Hope that that don't wash out the corn that we planted a week ago, two weeks ago. No, just the other day. Oh, just the other day. So and it, it was probably last Thursday. Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday. Yeah. Last Thursday. So yeah. It's not even been a week. It's not even been a week. So. It's fine. I hope. The Jerry McFerrin planted it at least two inches down. That'll give me good roots on the corn. We uh, did a uh, honey select this year. So, you want to take Black Joe Road back? Yeah. That's the chicken zone? Yeah. We can feed them inside the house. Yeah. Build the waterers out the water. There's only four chickens, so they don't drink. Uh, a bucket a day. Um, that van, okay, it's clear. Yeah, see, when I had the 30 chickens, I had to water every day. Uh, with the four chickens. The water party once a week. Not One even. of those feeders is out there in that shed. Out there in what shed? Oh yeah, yeah. Got to go out there and get that one. Yeah. And the other feeder is down with the little, it put the little baby chickens in the water inside the garage. So one feeder will do. It's 
So as we go to Millington, we're planning the feed situation out. And the Benjamin can come over and feed the rabbits or whatever. you. We'll have to get a bag of rabbit feed. Feed and water. CWT Ranch. Or Plateau Road. This goes in behind our place. Well, just uh, let me uh, say battery and what have you. This is a good sized turtle right here. Yeah, he's a good sized turtle. Now look what she's brought me to. Yeah, still the same day. <coughs> I don't know. Just right around the property, huh? In the woods. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I want to go through the woods. Yeah, yeah. Look where she's brought me to. This goes backwards. Yeah. Well, he, yeah. Backwards and frontwards. Yeah. To a barber shop. Oh, well, you buy on there, don't want to be on there. Yeah. Can you take your glasses off for me? Oh, you can't. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got to trim my hair. Oh, no. My eyebrows. The full four, you never want. Am I setting up high enough for you? Huh? I am? I don't know. It feels like I'm setting real low in a hole. I feel like I'm sitting in a hole. Like you're sitting in a hole. Yeah, am I sitting up high enough for you? Okay. Is it comfortable for you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, she's watching you now. She's she's OCD, you know. Let me. This woman vacuums ceilings. Vacuum ceilings. Yeah. You ever see anybody do that? I can't say that I have. She actually takes a vacuum cleaner and puts it on a ceiling. Now I've seen somebody like a shop back to suck up cobwebs or something. Oh yeah, but well, I mean she, no she, actually puts an upright up there and does it up. Strange. She's good though. She can catch a pig too. Catch pig? Yeah. I can't I can't get low enough to catch a pig, but she can catch one. Thing. She just can't cut hair. <laughs> Well, she could, it just might not work. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, see, I'd have you cut like that little boy's hair. That's a lot different than Yeah, it sure is. So uh, what day is it on, Cindy? On May 4th. I think that's a Saturday. And it's about 300 miles from here. So we're going to take the old travel trailer and head that way. Yeah, she wants to see things that are in West, in West Tennessee. She wants to see what West Tennessee looks like. No, they don't. So, I mean, they live through the rat poison and the... No, we didn't have problem with goats like that. We just... Uh, they, would get, they would get out and get in the cemetery and eat all the fake flowers off the tombstone. Oh, no. <laughs> now nah, they'll eat the fake off the tin can. They won't eat the tin can. Pigs, they do it, they do. Oh yeah, pigs eat everything but teeth. So uh, my dad had the slaughterhouse. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Uh huh. He dropped his cell phone in the pig pen, and then pigs ate it. <laughs> he couldn't find it, and he came back, and we just found like a little bitty piece of the battery. Wow. How's that looking to you? How's that looking to you? Yeah. So what do you want to do with the deer? There's pieces that are sticking off from it that's bothering her. Yeah. Do you want to just kind of run a guard over it? Yes. 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 Did it, and it was kind of gouged. Okay. It was kind of gouged. Looks <laughs> like they got the same kind of haircut. <laughs> Do I need to bend my head or anything? Good. Here they ain't no good ones with that staggering hair. Look, see, he don't have to bend down. He's got the he's got the kid. Yeah, this side 
Yeah, I don't know what that is. And then that's my right side too, so it should be longer. So did you just turn it with a pair of scissors, or what did you do? No, I cut it all the way off. Well, with a with a clipper. I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> okay, that's good. A town called Millington. Millington. It's where the old naval base used to be. It was a naval base there. My dad was in the Navy. Fifty years ago. Uh, no, no. Most of my family's in Florida now. No, they just grew up there. They stayed. I had to get out. I hated the hot weather. Yeah. Yeah. That would be expensive. That's why I just stayed out here. Yeah. That would be expensive. Every time I go down and come back, it's usually anywhere from six hundred to a thousand dollars. Uh, to the northern part of it, up around, well, last time we went was Dufuniac Springs. I got two boys that live in Lake City, Live Oak. Live Oak, Lake City, same thing. Well, they're 20 miles apart. They both begin with an L. She just might take old best place. She's doing a fine job. She's into her art here. Well, yeah. On that note, she says, that way when you go to the second prom, you'll look different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty straight. Do you want me just to barely straighten it for you? Does that make you happy? Yes,
he look like him and way now. And you said you were going to get your mustache yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can I shave the back of your neck? You sure can. That would be nice because I can't reach back there. <laughs> you put up with that, huh? <laughs> with a grin? <laughs> Sometimes. Uh oh. He's grinning now all the time. No matter what, right? All the time. Take that opportunity to grin. <laughs> it's all upside down. I'm about to, when I edit this, I'm going to turn it all around. She's got warm hands too. Oh no, that's the heat. That's just the lather. Just a shave. She wouldn't do it. She don't trust herself doing it. I trust her. I would let her do it. But although she had a razor in her hand around my neck, though, I. That's what I was thinking. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I don't. She would think differently. Yeah. I don't think she would cause me any harm. No, yeah. It's a busy day today, isn't it? What do you think there? I think it was feeling nice. That back and forth. What do you think there? I've not looked at it and seen it yet. You would let her know though. No, I don't. Yeah. Maybe, but I like to steal them things sometimes. Well, these would probably look good on you, but. Excellent. Let's see what it looks like. Very good. Still comb it. Yeah. Didn't get to cut it off though. I, I, I said we didn't get to cut it off. Maybe next time we can cut it off. Maybe. And, and, and this is Jack's, right? Jack's. Jack. And what's your name? Emily. Emily. Okay. We got to get Emily cut up the people's hair. Amen. Yeah. Huh? I need to get a ruler. <laughs> Go take it all off, right? Yep. Shave her down. Yeah. Yeah. Get all her hair cut off.
still working on it. He's anticipating. Cutting with clippers. It's all gone now. <laughs> Is he a wild man with his hair long anyway? <laughs> all that energy. And they donate for, donate that to what wigs? Mm -hmm. For people that have cancer and stuff. Yeah. So how do they keep it alive? I don't know. How do they keep the hair alive? Well, hair's already dead. Yeah. 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 If you want it split, they're not taking care of it that way. So 
it's not charge for the wheels. Even if you're donating it for like wheels for kids, they do not charge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But like lots of love, they charge for them. It's supposed to be a non-profit, but they charge. Hmm. So I got to change the fixture out. So, yeah, made a mistake there. Gonna have to back up and punt with that one. So this, and I hung a new rack right there. See the towel rack right there? Hung that up new. So you could replace. Oh, Cindy's doing a craft. What are you doing a craft for? The travel trailer. Oh, travel trailer. Travel trailer. Travel trailer. Travel trailer. Yeah, red, white, and blue for Memorial Day. <coughs> And 4th of July. And 4th oh, of July, too. And Labor Day. And Works Labor Day. For Works for the whole summer. Okay. Yeah. Good deal. We got stars and stripes. And... Okay, we're going to go out and take this and put it in the travel trailer below the stove because it's kind of old fashioned. Yeah. 60s. Yeah. 69. Okay. I'll see you out there in the trailer. right here the best we can
This is one of those things we decided to do because we didn't have a place to lay a towel and I seen a towel laying across a burner one night. I was thinking about hiding the screws. That looks real Memorial Dash. Holiday Dash, Fourth of July Dash, Labor Dash. Yeah. It's all patriotic. Show that to the Palestinians. Yeah. Let's see. These are coming here. Let's see what it looks like with the light on. Yeah. Looks much better. Yeah. What they gave me with this?
Very good. Very good. <clears throat> and I guess we'll end the day with that. Appreciate y'all's prayers. Looking forward to it. Okay, and I'll see you on the other side here. Amen. Look at the clouds out there. Doesn't that look ominous? Are we expecting any more rain? No. Not for a while, huh? Just Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Thursday. Sunday. Okay, so we'll bid you farewell and uh, good night.